This might take four or five takes. It takes a little while to warm up. Right. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Hunter Gatherer channel, aka the Honey Gatherer channel. This is Honey Week. Uh, it's September 3rd, and I did a little video of pulling some of the honey supers um, using the Bee Escape. And it worked really well. Now we've got a total of 11 boxes in the honey extraction room, which is our front porch. So we're just going to run through it. I've got um, my wife, my daughter Bailey, and Jake. And they're, uh, Bailey and Jake are going to be kind of new to the experience. So we can give them a little quick run through what the, the way the extractor works, what are we doing with the decapping tank, which way to put the frames in the extractor? Um, what do you do with the bee brood that is in some of the frames? And uh, just some of that, just a lot of the basics. And so we're gonna run through this real quick. Uh, we've got other honey extraction videos on the channel, so I'll link them up here or over here or whatever. Uh, take a look at them if you want to. We're not gonna go too in depth of this. We think with these 11 boxes, we're gonna be between 350 and 400 pounds. Um, this is our summer extraction. As soon as these get extracted, all the honey gets out of them. I'm gonna take the wet boxes and put them right back on top of the hives that I took some of them off of so they can go in there, clean everything up and get back to work on them. The uh, goldenrod is really, uh, really strong right now. And it's really starting to bloom. So we wanna be able to let them work that and fill the boxes back up again. So after, after extraction, we'll scrape some of the propolis and some of the extra comb and uh, wax off and then get them right back out there. So hope you enjoy the little bit of video. Hit the like and uh, share it if you want to and maybe subscribe if you haven't yet. We appreciate it. And leave a comment below how your extraction is going this year. So. Enjoy, enjoy the show, and we'll see you later. Um, Mom doesn't want to be recorded. Like a cheesecloth. Yeah, just squeeze it out. Yeah, and I kind of squeeze well, it. Anyways, so we'll put it in that and if you want to deal with that, work on it a little bit. Just to try. It was just a mini little device like this. We just put this, yeah. and then spun it around, and then saw how much size right. there were. And so ours was about this big, and it had little pieces. We had these bottles that were about this big. They, they were round on the top, and or, I mean they were long, they were kind of fat, and then they went skinny, yep. and then had a bulbous on the yeah, bottom. exactly. Okay, so you put them in the different spots, but you wanted them to be, and once they start to extract, it'll, oh, even it'll it's leave, out. yeah, because it'll start to lose weight on ones. And yeah, you just don't want it to be like hugely yeah. difference. So we've extracted a couple of extractors full. Um, what I like to do is I flip them from one way to the other way so I can try to get both sides extracted pretty well. This one's still pretty wet. There's a couple spots that didn't get scraped very well on this frame, but we're going to let the bees take it anyway so it's not that big of a deal. We've got an assembly line going, so I'm feeding from the decapping tank. Joy's currently decapping. Bailey was earlier, Jake did it first. And uh, we've got Bailey moving frames from boxes over to the de decapping tank, then I'm moving them to here, then I move the, the extracted ones over, and Jake is scraping the propolis off of the corners of the frames, off of the ears, um, just to make sure that they fit in the boxes a little better. We're scraping the propolis off the, the boxes as well. And uh, any like burr comb and things like that were taken off as well. So that way we can put wet frames and boxes in, but it'll, it'll be a little bit easier to move and, and the bees will be ready to go right to town on them. And just a little tip, when you're extracting, don't keep your valve your gate, your honey gate closed. Um, the first, one of the first times that we extracted, we, the extractor was sounding like it was starting to slow down some. And I'm like, what's going on? Anyhow, the gate was closed and we whipped a whole bunch of honey because 
it was hitting on the bottom and it was like a little mixer. So once I start extracting, I usually open the gate up. We've got a little 600 micron bucket filter on here and we're just gonna filter the wax before it gets into the buckets. We do appreciate you guys as well. Because when it's just the two it's of us. It's fun. I like trying new things and <laughs> like. Yeah, like they have extractors like this, except for that can do like 200 frames at a time. Oh, wow. So pretty. Oh, yeah. All right, we're done with the honey. It was about five hours worth of extreme labor. It wasn't that bad, really. We had a lot of good help. And uh, we're still dripping in the decapping tank. Just got done spinning the last of the four deep frames. And uh, they're all pretty clean and dry. Jake is finishing scraping off the propolis off these, throwing them back in the box. and. Uh, this will drip for a day or two, and I think we figured we're really close to 300 pounds. We've got like five almost full buckets, a couple of not so full buckets, so close to 300 pounds, and uh, we're putting these boxes back on the hives tonight, and uh, I think that's it. I don't know if anybody else has anything to say. That was fun. I'm sticky. <laughs> I had a good experience. Yeah, I'm very sticky. Yeah. <laughs> it is definitely a sticky situation. <laughs> and I would say I'm a bigger fan of these uh, nine mil like mechanics gloves instead of using the what are those ones? Um I don't even know if it disposable says disposable disposable nitrile gloves. They're the little blue ones that you get. These lasted the whole time for yep. me. They, they don't get a hole in them, you don't rip them out. So, spend a little bit more, but use a few less. I think that's it. That was kind of a quick overview of the honey process. If you have any questions, ask them down below. Watch those other videos that I was uh, gonna post up on there, so we went in a little bit more detail on some of it. But this is, our little bee operation and we have fun doing it. So just want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully we'll come back for more. Um, that's going to be it. Just want to let you know that we love you. God loves you and we'll see you on the next one. See y'all later. Happy bee. Here's what we ended up with right at 300 pounds of uh, beautiful golden goodness really tasty and uh, glad we got it all bottled up and did some one pounders some one and a half pounders and some these are two and three quarters of a pound and one half gallon um, anyhow that's what 300 pounds of honey looks like all the boxes are back on the hives and the bees are uh, working the goldenrod and some uh, Japanese knotweed and whatever else they can find, asters maybe. We'll be extracting again in about a month. Alright, there we go, we'll definitely get that in there. Yeah.